is CBS 2 News. And tonight, the growing debate over medical chip implants. Some patients say it helps give them peace of mind. Others say they're a violation of privacy. We'll take a look at the controversy. Doctors in our area are now recommending medical chip implants that they say could save your life. But as many privacy advocates worry, Dr. David Marks tells us more about this emerging technology. It sounds like science fiction, but Nick Minacucci is getting a microchip implanted in his arm. I didn't feel it at all, actually. When you pulled it out, that's the only time I felt it actually leaving. The chip is smaller than a thumbnail, but allows doctors access to his entire medical records. With only the swipe of a scan. There's days I, I forget to even have it. Molly Phillips is a diabetic. She had the chip implanted in her arm after a medical scare last December landed her in the hospital. Doctors didn't know what medication she was on. If I'm in that circumstance again, they would scan my arm, pull up my, my information and have it right there. It was originally used for tracking lost pets, but the FDA approved VeraChip implants in humans last year. Since then, 60 people in the Northeast have gotten the chip implant. Each chip contains a unique 16-digit number that, when scanned, connects doctors to an internet database that retrieves medical records instantly. It's the sickest patients that you need accurate information, medical information, uh, up front in a very timely fashion. Dr. Joseph Feldman heads the emergency department at Hackensack Medical Center, the first in our area to participate. He assures patients that their confidential records can only be viewed by proper medical personnel. When you think of written medical records, uh, how secure really are they? But these microchips are at the center of a serious debate about fundamental privacy rights. There are serious legal issues that are raised by this particular technology. Privacy advocates say they're concerned these chips could monitor or track people, medical records could be abused, and a person couldn't remove the chip if they wanted to. The Electronic Privacy Information Center's Mark Rottenberg is concerned that there currently are no rules that regulate or limit how this chip can be used. To suggest that somehow this is not personal information is, is simply misleading. It is very personal information. But Molly says that in her case, she doesn't see a downside. There's really nothing but my information on what kind of medicine I'm on. The doctor would want to know what medication I was on. I mean, nobody else would really care. If you're interested in reading more about where you can get this microchip implanted, you can log on to our website, wcbstv.com.